Dana White is fucking livid. I'm sure everyone lost their jobs over this, which they should. Did they not cut to Trump during the, the live feed? I didn't see Trump once. Yep. And that's what he was saying. That's what, that's I was what he's saying too, this morning. Like, yeah. To be fair, I only heard about him being there. He, I don't recall a lot of celebrity cut. They sh- they did do like basically one celebrity real montage. They and, showed Baker. They showed the yeah. Cleveland Browns. They showed the Sunny people. And then that was really all they caught in Courtney the Courtney and Trump. and Courtney and Travis Parker. Everyone else tonguing each other. You didn't see that makeout? Yeah. yeah. Ja- see, yeah. James is all over it. Mm. We know. Same yeah. page. Mm. Same page. Wait, who was making out? Travis Barker and Travis Courtney Bar- Kardashian. Uh, Courtney Arca- and they I, did this like it wasn't even thirsty. it was like what se- thirsty like seventeen year olds. Yeah, like, yeah, it was just. But everyone it was quintessence them. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, everyone else they showed wasn't in the audience. They showed the walk-ins. Like they showed Chappelle walking in. They showed okay. whatever the fuck Jared Leto is now right, walking so in. So they didn't show. So Trump walked in in that same way. They did not. They show did that not show him. They, they showed yeah. Bieber walking in. Okay. Yeah. So, so so Dana White went scorched earth this morning, and he said. That was a massive fuck up, and I don't know who did this, but he goes, "That's the it's a massive fuck up." Mm. So people I mean, are getting fired. Trump also went right behind uh, Joe Rogan and Daniel Cormier and started rubbing their heads. Do yeah, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, because he can, because he fucking can, dude. Apparently, he came up to DC. He was like, "I don't want to fight that guy," and then to Joe, he was like, "You do a great job. You're yeah, doing a great job. You're yeah. the best. You're doing the best, Joe." And then afterwards, we saw the footage later. Chuck was hanging out with Trump later, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on, dude?" Yeah, I what actually. Was my invite, bro? I actually think that. Look, Dana knows exactly what's going on. No, not so. During the feed, by the way, he's out there with the people, so he's not back looking at the monitors or any of that shit. Um, and he was angry as shit. And he's the most honest CEO there is. I mean, that guy. Holy shit, he'll go scorched earth on people, um, and then flip it as well. Because I know he was talking shit to the Paul brothers. Turns out also this morning. Um, he called Logan personally and said, look, I like you. I think what you guys are doing is, is fun. And he goes, I want to give you two seats, two front row tickets to the match itself for you and your brother. And that's how they got their tickets. Because he goes, dude, I, I guess that it's called Billionaire's Row, that first row right there. And you can't get those seats. And he called personally. And Logan went on his podcast well, this morning and smart, said, hey. He's a smart guy because Logan and Paul were going around basically trashing, going to the ins and outs of what Dana does to people. Yeah. And I think he knows, unlike other people that have gone against Dana White that didn't have any power, I think he knew, hey, guys, I, I kind of need to stop these guys from fucking doing this. So he's not a fucking idiot. Wasn't out of the goodness of his heart. He doesn't actually like them. But he does what he has to do.